Uh, Kareem, what we've had this week is a visit to Perth by the prospective candidates for Prime Minister. And I was saying to people about uh, when Liz Truss has said, ignore Nicholas Sturgeon. And I said, uh, the best thing to do with Nicholas Sturgeon is ignore her, said Liz Truss. And I thought, you know, how just how very basically rude. And um, if anything, that makes you think, definitely not a candidate for a prime minister where they're going to have to do some serious grown-up negotiation with the first minister of Scotland. And I, and, and, and I thought to myself, um, you know, if, if neither of these candidates have got the presence and the experience and the leadership qualities of Nicola Sturgeon, you know, it's, it's, it's quite interesting to see that. And I would never have that. And then uh, I, I had pinned my hopes on Rishi since, you know, we're spoiled for choice. It's one or the other. And I'd pinned my hopes on Rishi. And then he said, I want to take Nicola Sturgeon on and beat her. Now, what kind of way is that to start a negotiation? Well, I think so, too. Both of them are trying to talk up the, the unionists that we have up here in Scotland, but I don't think they're doing a very good job about it. If they were smart, they would be sitting along the tune that we'll be working very close yes. and we understand the S and T for nationalism yes. for independence. I'm hoping so hoping to have a lot of chats with Nicola and to see if we can find some kind of middle ground here. Yes. You know, but I just think it just shows you how it shows you now how out of touch. But Scotty, we've always heard this that Westminster's out of touch. It's getting further and further Very, apart. very, very out of touch. I mean, just not picking up on the vibe at all, and mm -hmm. uh, and not thinking. You see, if they were really switched on, and the Tories wanted a presence in Scotland, or the Labour Party wanted a presence in Scotland. Uh, you know, something better than what they've got in the political wilderness, then the best bet would be to back independence and say, well, we're in the ring as well. Well, if they should, should maybe not to back independence, but back the referendum and come up with the arguments, well, why do you want to stay in the union? 